than markets as flat as can be. So let's take our eye off the markets, in fact, and uh, let's focus. I think we have some news coming. There's cement uh, makers, they've risen the prices by up to around 27 rupees per 50 kg bag in Mumbai. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder from where we're getting uh, this kind of news. The stocks are moving high. We'll have to find out the reason why they're doing this as well. Is it the end of the post-monsoon? That's why we're seeing these price increase. And exactly where exactly is this uh, price increase as well? That's going to be quite uh, important. For the time being, the stocks are moving higher. Yesterday, Altitech Cement, they met a lot of buy-side analysts. And what they stated were things are gradually on the mend, particularly with regard to the JP Associates acquisition. So uh, we'll try to get more news on that front. But for the time being, turning attention to the commodity and currency space. Manisha is with me. Manisha. All right, Parab, that cement price rise is coming in Mumbai is what I was trying to read. Uh, maybe you'll read up while I look at the sugar prices in the meanwhile. And remember, those have been under pressure as the government is trying really hard to keep the prices under curb, increase supplies ahead of festivities. And, and, and that really has led to the industry talking about on how the sugar did move from uh, being controlled to partial decontrolled and back to being controlled the way a lot of sugar measures is what we have seen come in the recent days. But to talk more about that, let's go across to Rahil Sheikh, who's MD, EDF, and MAN. And he joins us. He also is a director at iStar. Rahil, hi. Good to have you. What is your sense, first of all? Because the latest coming in from the agri-minister yesterday was that they are looking towards taking a final call on importing sugar soon. But how would you look at the recent many measures that the government has taken on this sector? Importantly, I mean, you know, we went from a the control situation to a partial decontrol situation. And now we go back to a controlled kind of an environment again on, on having export uh, at 20% duty, import at 50% duty, stock limits on mills, stock limits on trade. But I mean, these are all done to sort of, you know, justify the low stock ratio which is currently in place. I mean, we have about we will have, we will what? We will have about 3.8 million tons of opening stock in the month of October. And to augment the supply, these are all the, all the things have been put in place. But, uh, but, but these are, these are, these are measures which are, you know, primitive according to me, but, uh, but this is what it is. So to augment the supply in the month of October of 3.8 million tons, the government think that it's necessary to put all this control in place. And, and, and this is what they have done currently. Hmm. Rahil, the extension of control also has come in for sugar mills in sense of stock limits now. Uh, with the kind of numbers that you would have in hand, what is your sense on the opening stock that we would see for sugar as the new season begins? I mean, uh, it's very difficult when you don't have any discovery in the futures market in India that uh, to give uh, any sense of, uh, sense of uh, you know, situation. But, uh, but any, any stock ratio at these levels are alarming. I mean, you know, um, in my opinion, the government having the stock limits and everything, they are trying to augment the supply. But at the end of the day, unless we have a discovery on prices in the futures market, it is difficult to predict what could be the November or the December month. But the supply will come in because the crushing may commence around 15, 20th of October. So, so we shall see a fairly sustainable supplies available, but, but not, not a long-term measure. Hmm. Clearly, the government's uh, thing has been about keeping the supplies enough and keeping the supplies low as well, and that perhaps would lead to an import uh, in case of sugar statement coming in from the ministry. But what is your sense uh, if India was to import today? What are the kind of global prices that we have, and what would it cost India, the landing price, etc.? I mean, global prices have been soft for now seven, eight months. We have been seeing a, a continuous selling by the funds. And, uh, and it has not been, not been a very, very strong, um, um, you know, the market has been very weak there. And Brazilian have been producing, producing a lot. So I don't think so that India, if India allows uh, 300,000 to a half a million tons, raws or whites, I mean, you know, the market could, be, could, could have any substantial rallies. But definitely, I mean, you know, it may have some impact. Rahil, as you were pointing out earlier, there have been lots of measures already on sugar. I mean, this is one commodity which has an export duty and an even higher import duty as well. But taking all of that into account, what is your sense on where are the sugar prices headed by this calendar year? Uh, on prices, I think we are quite stable on the prices for last seven, eight months in India. And I think with the augment of supply, with the stock limit coming in, I think we will end the end the month, uh, end, the, end the calendar year at the same kind of revenue range 
uh, price range, sorry, uh, for, the, for, the, for the industry, for the sugar millers. All right, Rahil, we'll let you go at that. Well, that's a view coming in then for the sugar price. It's expected to be stable. Government has made a lot of measures, so there's no way that this commodity is going to see much of a gain.